unable to eat lunch although it's a easy but still we are discussing this because it has a bit trickiness on how to understand the time complexity of a problem cool although the most optimal one is the most easiest one but the normal brute force one is the most tricky one but we will see that so it simply says again i'll explain it so we have some students and we have some sandwiches now uh, for a student, this is the preferred sandwich. Okay, I have two sandwich types. One is a sandwich type of zero and one is a sandwich type of one. Sandwich will be there in a form of a stack like this, which means, okay, at the most bottom, I will have one. At the top, I will have zero. Okay, at the top, one. At the top, zero. So this is how my sandwiches will look like, right? Now, students want their preferred sandwich this student will want a sandwich of one this student will want a sandwich of one this also one this also one so this is what they want but as you can see that okay the first ones again the students are in the form of this line okay he's the first student he's the next he's the next he's the next and so on and so forth so this as the first student want the sandwich of one but at the top of the stack he don't see a one sandwich so what he will do okay he will go back in the queue so you can just imagine this as a queue so i have a queue okay uh, as i can see i have one one zero zero so for sure one will try and see oh I, who i have one oh i don't so he will go at the back of the queue okay one is now here then one will again go and ask do i have a one no he don't okay he will again go back in the queue then zero oh yeah he has zero okay he got what he wanted so both will go now zero again he have oh it's a one available okay again he will go back in the queue again one yeah he wanted one he got a one okay he will go and he also go again he'll check for one oh it's a zero so again he will go in the back of the queue zero yeah it is zero again he will take the sandwich and he will go away one one he again matching he will take the sandwich and he will go away so why this you can see all the students were able to take the sandwiches thus my answer is zero answer i have to return is the number of students who cannot or who are unable to take any sandwich for example just for your simplicity i'll take one more example that okay i have these sandwiches again remember this is in a form of a stack they have given they have given that you have designed or basically configured the sandwiches to be put in the form of a stack itself so okay i will have one at the bottom then one then zero then zero then zero and then one okay i have made my sandwiches entire stack now i will come okay first one will come he want one he has one he will get one okay this student okay let's let's make one 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 zero zero one so this is my student's queue now he wants one he will he has he can see one drop he'll take the one okay he has gone then next student one ah it is zero so he will have to go away he will move in the back again one ah he will again have to move in the back now zero yeah he can take that okay he will take that zero sandwich gone zero again he will take that okay zero sandwich gone one ah uh, he cannot take he will move in the back one ah uh, he cannot again take he will move in the back one he cannot again take he will move in the back one oh aryan you repeated this that is true that is true so you are simulating it and you realize no way whatsoever that from now on anyone can get the sandwich at the top i cannot say aryan i will take the blue sandwich this is not your hostel it's not your college hostel you cannot take the sandwiches just below you will have to have to take you will keep on shuffling which means the person will keep on going back until the person at the front can take the sandwich from the top but now they cannot so you have to stop right here so make sure if you simulate this process by the code make sure to put some condition that you realize that okay no one can get the sandwich from your top there are multiple ways to do it as you can see for sure if something has to stop which means whatsoever I have in the top, in the entire queue, that will not be available. Or there are multiple ways, okay? I can simply say that I have tried for all the elements of the queue, which means I am repeating it again. How to know? Maybe by just saying, okay, if you remembered, I had one, one, one. So again, I'm just showing you that how you can replicate that when to stop your program. If you try to simulate this and write a code for that simulation. So what you did was, again, one way I told you that one option to simulate this ending process is that you see, okay, I have no zero, but I have a zero top. So it is the ending process. I should end it right here. Other way to end is that, bro, uh, I will just say, okay, one, I checked. Okay, one, I have checked. 
then he will go in the back again one i have checked he will go in the back pool two i have checked so far one again i will check again he will go in the back now so far i have checked three but my total element or my total q size was also three so if i go and again check for one you will see that i am actually checking for four elements my element size was q my element sorry, my element my q size was three which means i have repeated that which means i have again came on and checked for the same thing so if my if my count of checks which means if my count of check becomes q size which means bro i have checked for all the elements none of them could match with my top element so bro simply no one can eat the sandwich so remaining elements are three so you realize that you will just simulate the process now let's write the code of simulation but the most interesting part is what will be the time complexity of the simulation because that's that seems very strange but yeah let's see so we'll just simulate this we have a student queue which because we saw we want a data structure that okay he, the person can move from the front and can go in the back that can be done easily with the queue we know that sandwich was a stack itself so we have to take have to take stack now i'll do simply one thing i will put all the elements i will put all the elements in my sandwiches and i will put all the elements in my queue so what i will do again simple i know that i have that if if this was again let's let's show you if this was my sandwiches array and this was okay let's erase this if this was my sandwiches array i have to put in a stack in which at the super bottom i should keep one then zero then one and then zero so you will see that in your stack in your sandwiches stack you are pushing back from the end from the end itself but in your queue you are pushing it from the start itself so you are simply saying that okay bro i have a queue and i know in a queue i just push in from the start let's say if this is the front of the queue and i will say okay i'll push in one then i will push in the next element which is one then zero then zero so i will just remove i can remove it from here itself that is my best part again in the queue you can remove from the back itself maybe if you use a dq or stuff but that is how it will give you a liberty of removing and pushing elements so now when things are ready you know one thing and he will just simulate this okay your queue and sorry your sandwiches queue and your uh, sorry your sandwiches stack and your students queue are ready you will just simply say okay while my student queue is not empty because i want my all the students to get sandwich so while this is not empty i will keep on simulating it how i will simulate i will check if the sandwich what is what whatsoever it is at the top if my student also who is at the front of the queue he likes that sandwich which is at the top if that's the case i will pair them up and i will remove both of them so i will pair them up and when i say pair i mean okay i'm good and i will remove both of them so i will remove as you can see both of them i have removed don't like ignore this for what next i will do next i will just simply go and check okay if the student at the front of the queue he is not he's not li liking that sandwich so he has to go in the back of the queue so what he will do okay student queue whatsoever it was in the front he will be pushed like i will push back and when i say when i say push that push actually pushes the person in the back of the queue so this front student will actually be pushed back of the queue and again uh, the front one whosoever was there which was this one itself which i have pushed in the back and the above step that will be removed out from the queue and thus i can simply say my sandwich which i have missed will be plus plus what are you are what are you saying that's the same count which i was keeping track of how many sandwiches i have missed basically every person was missing a sandwich if you remember this person one let's say when yeah in this person in this stage one 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 was there so he was missing he was missing he was missing if three people have missed for sure my queue size was three itself so i'm done i'm done if and thus i am just increasing whosoever has missed okay people have missed I, again you can just replace this with as people missed how many people have missed the sandwich now if this missing becomes equal to your queue dot size bro you are done bro you are done you are done you are screwed up thus ultimately what is the size of the queue will be the remaining number of elements who have not or basically students who have not got sandwiches and this was the fact that okay if someone is getting if someone is getting any sandwich so for sure you can just uh, by default initialize re 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 initialize your uh, variable of sandwich miss to zero so that next time consecutively i want how many people miss the sandwich if consecutive three people missed and my size of queue was also three which means i have gone to an infinite loop scenario so i have to break out at that point now 
क्वेश्चन सीम्स ऑफ सिम्युलेशन एंड सीम्स इजी बट वट इज द टाइम कॉपेसिटी ऑफ दिस टाइम विल बी बाई सी सिंपल एग्जाम्पल If I take this example again, I just expanded the expanded this example itself, which was students and sandwiches. But Aryan, how did you know that how you have to expand it? Because I realized, I realized while my one was there, I have to check for the entire one. So he was not there, so he has to go away. Then again, next one came in, he has to also go away. Then a zero came in. Then I matched with a zero. Then okay, zero was not there as a one, so he has to go away. So I just realized that this was the example in which. one student was matched with one sandwich and i it it on the entire students array and then again i will come back again i will come back and start from the one itself so i realized that one student was paired with one sandwich and i have to, i have it it on the entire array so let's see maybe this is the worst case itself because one student one sandwich o of n we have n students n sandwiches huh, it will be o of n square or maybe more who knows who knows, who knows? we will know so we have one again this will remain fixed as it is make sure that part this will remain always as it is which means i will have a stack 1 0 1 0 1 0 0 this is the stack now for the students array i will simply keep on pushing in the back okay for one he has not okay one i i want zero okay he will go in the back he will go in the back remove it one again one again he will again go in the back again go in the back then again one he will again go in the back then zero okay bro zero and zero can make a pair Okay, so far you have seen that I have made one pair only. Great. Again zero and one. Okay, no, he will he will go in the back. Again zero and one. Okay, again he will go in the back. So you have realized that you have made just one pair and you did it on the entire queue of size n. Cool. Now again one one. Yeah, he has made a pair. Okay, both can make a pair. Two pair done. One zero. Uh huh. One zero. Uh huh. Which means again one zero. Uh huh. As in he will go in the back. One zero again. He will go in the back. Zero zero. Yeah, he can make a pair. Okay, he can make a pair. Cool. Zero one. Ah, uh, he'll again go in the back. So you you realized in the next step, I was maybe able to make two pairs. I was able to make two pairs, but then again, O of n iteration done. So for sure, so far we have realized it is more than O of n for sure. It can be O of n square. Seems like it is O of n square, but yeah, it can. It is for sure more more than O of n. Then again, ah uh, one one will pair. Okay, done. One zero. It cannot pair. Okay, it, he will go away. Zero zero. He can pair. Okay, he can pair. Now again, you can see I have paired five of them, but again, O of again n is done. Last but not least, one one will pair. So uh, it is simply saying, okay, in the first step I take O of n again. N will reduce parallelly. N will keep on reducing, but also I I will take okay two. I can make pairs. Two I can make pairs. Two I can make pairs. So it is okay. N n minus two. n minus 2 and then in that also you are making two pairs and then again n minus 4 and then so on and so forth it is roughly o of n square with which this will replicate for us so we realize that this time of possibility will be actually be o of n square and space both of stack and queue which we are using now if i ask you to improvise it you will simply look for what was being done things which i will tell you is that okay these students were actually shuffling and whosoever was capable to come and get the first sandwich will come and get it so i realized that okay this zero was coming in getting this sandwich first again this was done gone this one was coming and getting the next sandwich this one sorry this zero was getting and coming third sandwich this one was getting and coming the next sandwich this zero was getting and coming the third like next sandwich and this was the getting and coming in the next sandwich so we realized that a uh, sandwich will remain as it is i just want the proper person who can get ta and take the sandwich for example in the next case also this one was taking again sorry uh, i want in the i have to go in the sandwich order itself so this zero will go and take the first sandwich this zero will go and take the second sandwich okay someone needs to take the third sandwich and that should be a zero i see i cannot get a zero anyway i have to stop and these two people will never get a sandwich so remaining people are two in this case answer is two so you realize that actually i don't want the entire ordering and stuff i want okay how many sandwiches i have what is the count of zero sandwich i will go in the sandwiches order itself and okay i have i have to give someone my zero sandwich do i have someone who want a zero sandwich if i have i will give him in this case i want to give someone a zero sandwich but i realize that my so far my zero count was 2 
and when these were taken it became a zero so i have to give someone a zero sandwich and no one is there to take a zero sandwich sorry bro i'm done i cannot give you so whosoever is remaining whosoever is remaining would also not be able to get any sandwich let's take with the last example that okay we want to give someone a zero sandwich <laughs> no one is there with a zero sandwich who can take it so for sure no one will get any sandwich whatsoever my answer will be a four so you realize one thing that what we are doing actually we are simply going and keeping track of the one count and zero count how many students want one sandwich and how many students want zero sandwich now i'll go on from the from, from this order itself because i know sandwiches are in the form of a stack i cannot order sandwiches i have to take the first stack element or the first sandwich only so i will go and ask bro who want a zero sandwich bro will say bro i have i have one person student there is one student who want sandwich zero so okay that student will take his count will become a two now i will have a one sandwich who who wants yeah bro wants okay bro will take zero sandwich who wants yeah bro will take one one sandwich bro bro will take zero sandwich bro will take one sandwich bro will take and that's how ultimately you can see simply you have distributed all the sandwiches in this case in this case what happened that in the very beginning okay zero sandwich yeah one person can take zero, zero sandwich yeah one person can take zero sandwich no no there is no student left to take so for sure whatsoever count is remaining which is of one count will be there who cannot take the sandwiches and thus my answer will be two now if i replicate the exact same thing in the code i will firstly have a zero count and a one count which means okay what all students prefer zero sandwich and what all students prefer one sandwich then i will go on the sandwiches array and then if my sandwich currently right now which i'm checking is zero but my zero count is also zero which means i have no student who want a zero sandwich then bro uh, what service the one count is your answer because for sure you cannot give these many number of students a one sandwich because there is no one to give to take the zero one so you are done you are screwed up now same way for one if you have one sandwich and your one count is zero which means there's no person who want to take a one sandwich so zero count is the remaining people which will be able to suffer like suffer and ultimately if any way if both the conditions are there, if you have a zero count or one count, and if your sandwich is zero, reduce your zero count. If your sandwich is one, reduce the one count. Ultimately, if you are going out of the loop, which means you are never, you you never went here, which means both of them had become zero. So ultimately, you can simply return a zero here itself. Because for sure, if it never came here, which means both of them would have become a zero. And if both of them are zero, you are good. You are completely fine to go. Now time will be O of n plus n, O of n will be for this loop and O of n will be for the next loop and space will be O of 1 because of no extra space used. Cool. This was the easy one but above one was the tricky one but to understand time, time complexity which is very important for you to understand. Bye bye. Take care. If you like it, please do smash it and if you have not watched the new channel, Code with Arin, you can just go and watch it. Link will be down below. Bye bye. Take care and goodbye.